then generate an antibody response. Ow. I feel so ill and cold. Get the first dose to as many people as possible and everything. Hi, so I'm going to get my Pfizer vaccine later today. Um, I have this form to fill out before I go, so I'm just going to do that now. So prior to receiving our vaccine, we had to fill out a form asking us for some crucial details such as if we're under 16, if we have any immunodeficiencies or if we are currently or planning to become pregnant. So my vaccination was at 1.30pm that day. Here you see me heading off to the vaccination center at Adam Brooks Hospital. And at the vaccination center, they set up a queuing system as they waited in line for our turn. Yeah, I was a little bit silly that day and I wore a long sleeve top inside that couldn't really be rolled up. So I actually had to pull down the top of my sleeves instead in order for the nurse to give me the injection. I thought I'll quickly explain the Pfizer vaccine. So the Pfizer vaccine is a, not a traditional vaccine in the sense that it doesn't use any protein components unlike the normal vaccines that do use some sort of protein component from the virus or the bacteria that they're vaccinating against. But with the Pfizer vaccine, it's actually the RNA uh, that codes for the spike protein which is a surface protein on the coronavirus. And the spike protein is what allows for binding to the ACE2 receptor that allows for entry and infection into the respiratory epithelial cells. So the idea is that the vaccine containing the RNA, okay, the RNA sequence for the spike protein will be delivered into, into our body. And then our cells will be able to translate these RNA delivered from the vaccine into the spike proteins themselves. And then the spike proteins will be expressed on the surface of our own body cells. But because this is still a foreign protein, the immune system will be able to recognize this as something foreign and then generate an antibody response against this foreign spike protein. And then subsequently, when we actually do get infected with coronavirus, hopefully not, if we do get infected with coronavirus, then we already have pre-existing antibodies against this spike protein. So this is the basis of the Pfizer vaccine. I hope that was helpful in explaining how it works. Hi guys, I'm just going to give you a little update. It's been about 5 hours since I got my COVID vaccine on this shoulder over here. I was warned that I would get a little bit of muscle ache. I was feeling fine earlier and then just like maybe about the past 30 minutes, I kind of felt like a bit, a bit sore. It's very similar to post like any sort of vaccine which I've received in the past. So presently, I'm not really feeling anything. And they did give me this um, like information leaflet some information about the vaccine, the different side effects. So for instance, the pain at injection site, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever. They also gave me this COVID vaccine card. Okay, and then at the back, it has my details, the date I've received my first dose, the batch number, etc. We're meant to receive two injections given 21 days apart. But unfortunately, because of the whole situation, we were told that we won't be given it after 21 days. You see this second blank here for my second vaccine date, it's still empty. And I think the priority at the moment is to get the first dose to as many people as possible. But yeah, this is just what's happened or what's been happening. See ya! Guys, I feel so ill and cold. I don't know if it's because of the vaccine. I'm gonna take some paracetamol. Mm. guys it's the next morning and my arm is hurting a lot more than last night Ow. like I can't really move it much like like even doing this it kind of hurts and apart from that I feel like aches in other parts of my body like my neck and then my shoulders I feel everywhere is a bit stiffer than normal a bit like when you have a flu and you're ill that sort of symptoms which is you know completely mild and bearable and also last night I was a little bit feverish I felt like really cold and I woke up in the middle of night quite cold. So yeah, I'm not feeling too good today. I do think like if I didn't have the vaccine, I would have thought that perhaps I'm done with a cold or something. So yeah, as expected, these are also the known and reported uh, side effects of the vaccine. So yeah, I'm nothing too worrying. Just hopefully I feel better soon. I need to go back to the hospital on Monday. I need to be alive for that. So yeah, that's it. Bye. He's using my this arm. Hi everyone, so today is the 24th of January. So it's been two days since I got my vaccine 
and I wanted to just give an update on how I'm feeling right now. So I got my vaccine on Friday. The way it's organized is that we all managed to book a slot, a 10 minute appointment slot. Okay, and then there are two rooms. Each room contains five booths and then each booth there is a person to administer the vaccine. The actual vaccination itself was really quick. They just took your details and then afterwards, yeah, they just um, put the vaccine in this muscle over here, which is a deltoid. And then it was just really, really quick. And the needle was much smaller than some of the other vaccines I've had in the past. So it wasn't really painful at all. And then um, after we got the vaccination, we then moved on to a second room, which is known as the recovery room. And we have to sit there for 15 minutes. So the purpose of the recovery room, I suppose, is, you know, in case if there were any immediate adverse reactions, there will be people around and professionals around to help us. Um, yeah, so after that 15 minutes, we can then leave and get on to the rest of our day. Uh, yeah, so, you know, to me, it just felt like a normal vaccination process. Yeah, I felt fine and got on with the rest of my day, went back to the hospital. It was in the evening when my arms started to feel like really, really sore. And I think that is one of the main side effects that people have felt with it, this vaccine. And yeah, and then I just felt like my arm was really, really sore and I felt a little bit cold and just kind of like tired. But I didn't know if it was like, you know, the Friday, the end of the week. And then in the middle of the night, I think I woke up at about 3 a.m. like really, really cold and kind of shivering a little bit, like having some sort of chills. And I think if I didn't have the vaccine, I would have thought that I might be coming down with a cold or a flu or some sort of infection. And then the next day I woke up feeling quite unwell just like ill in general and my neck was just kind of painful and achy and I had like muscle aches everywhere and obviously the the site of injection was really sore but then I felt like my legs my back my neck especially my shoulders were all really stiff and uncomfortable as though I was having a, a proper like flu infection so yeah and then I think um, midday afternoon I felt really really unwell and then took some paracetamol during the vaccination the nurse actually told me that if I do feel unwell, which is quite a common symptom, uh, paracetamol helps. So I don't know why I didn't remember that until like later on in the day. And I was like, oh my god, I feel so bad. Like, I, I like cannot, like, I just felt so dizzy and just uncomfortable. So I took some paracetamol and then yeah, I feel better. This morning I woke up and I feel much better. The stiffness is mostly gone and um, it just kind of hurts a tiny bit now. Um, not as much as yesterday so i think everything is almost back to normal so in summary the side effects for me post vaccination was just mainly the day after when i just i when i felt like ill but yeah that's just a little update about the uh, effects post covid vaccine the nurse that was vaccinating me told me that the peak immunity after the first vaccine is actually two weeks after so these two weeks you know obviously i still have to be careful and even after these two weeks even after getting the vaccine it doesn't really mean that you can just go about and do everything but you still have to be careful with your hand hygiene with your personal protective equipment like mask etc um yeah just to be careful always and stay safe everyone bye